Good afternoon, SUTD Chairman, Mr. Li Chu Yang, Board of Trustees, Commencement Speaker, Mr. Tseng Kai Fang, graduates and families, faculty, staff, and students, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and most importantly, the class of 2019. Congratulations to each and every one of you. You have made it. Today, we celebrate your remarkable accomplishments, a culmination of many years of hard work, perseverance, and let us not forget the unwavering support from your family and friends. Very well done, class of 2019. You and your loved ones deserve a big round of applause. Well, it doesn't seem that long ago that we had welcomed you into the SCUTD family on matriculation day. The orientation camp brought all of you together as a close-knitted community to embark on your new learning, learning journey at SUTD. And since then, 1,300 days have passed. You have gone through more than 5,000 hours of coursework, more than 20 or more design projects, at least one industry in internship, countless sleepless nights, so frequent that you call SUTD, stay up till dawn. <laughs> and of course, I believe you have also made many good friends, friends not only celebrate life's joys with you, but also support you through difficult times. In spite of the challenges you face, and no matter how tough the night was, you remain steadfast in spirit and with a great sense of purpose and confidence. Completed the course with a strength and perseverance that belies your years. You should be proud of this achievement as it marks the fruition of all your effort leading to this day. The stay up till dawn curriculum is rigorous and challenging because it has been designed to prepare you to be resilient for the rapidly evolving world that we live in today. This year, we also yield our very first batch of graduates from the SCUTD Technology and Entrepreneurship Program or in short, STEP, and also the Masters of Science in Urban Science, Planning and Policy, or we call USPP. I also want to congratulate our graduating PhD students. They have done very well in their research, receiving a number of awards, such as the best paper at the recent International Conference on Design, Theory and Methodology, and the Gold Award at the Institute of Engineers Singapore Innovation Challenge for their work. Having graduated four batches of undergraduate students, you being the fifth, I'm pleased to share that our students have been punching above their weight in the industry and entrepreneurship. The Graduate Employment Survey for Class of 2018 revealed that they have been well received by the industry, with 94% higher within six months of graduating in 78% of Singapore's key industry. Now today, I have repeatedly received positive feedback from industry partners about our graduates, and I am really excited when I hear that they can tell the difference between SUTD graduates and those who come from other universities. Let me share with you some of their comments. So I quote, SCUTD students are a different breed. They are able to navigate through the different challenges. They have a business sense. They are bold and courageous. SUTD graduates didn't come into any job with any preconception of what they need to do or have to do, or that there's some 
idea model job out there, but they knew how to learn, how to work hard, and how to ask the right questions. Now, we are having many outstanding alumni. I would like to highlight Charlene Wong. Her supervisor shared that Charlene has given him a glimpse of the unique traits that SUTT student embodies. I quote what he said about her. Charlene has a strong pioneering spirit, always willing to do and be the first to try new things. She also keeps an open mind and humble learning attitude. She's well liked by her peers, able to build strong interpersonal relationships and gain their respect at the same time. Unquote. Charlene's good performance enabled her to be promoted in less than a year after she joined Tomasek Holding. Now, it is no surprise that Charlene excels in the real world. As a pioneer batch student, Charlene joined SUTD fully aware that in choosing to pursue her degree at a brand new university, she had accepted the challenge of placing a path not yet traveled by others. She demonstrated her great interpersonal and leadership skills by becoming the president of the interim student government. That means not even we have the student yet, right? And laid the foundation for building the unique identity of SUTD students. In fact, she is in the audience today and will be giving a speech later. Charlene, thank you very much. Yeah. I am also very proud of our alumni who have entered into entrepreneurship. Our curriculum encourages our students to be willing to push boundaries and step out of their comfort zones, to try new things and to bring their ideas into reality. For example, Kodomo, a startup by a group of pioneer students that teach coding in a fun and easy to learn way, using a card game that they designed called Potato Pirates. They launched this product on Kickstarter and garnered a quarter million dollars in funding. And since 2016, they have trained around 10,000 people in coding and design thinking. Now, another example, AgriFood, a sustainable F&B enterprise started by class of 2018, uh, Yo Pei Shan, which makes use of unsold or blemished fruits and vegetables to produce popsicles, juices, and teas. In fact, AgriFood will be operating a physical store at SUTD, I think starting next week, I think. These young alumni all have worked hard and excel at what they are doing both while at school and now in their various vocations. I hope you can take inspiration from their achievements. A few years ago, they were just like you, sitting in this auditorium at their graduation and excited at what their futures might hold. Now perhaps to make this point real, more real and closer to your heart, let me also share some examples of your own fellow classmates who are very dedicated and wholehearted in what they do. I'm very proud of Leong Hee Ken, who is SUDD very first Public Service Commission scholar. Now, Hee Ken has been part of the SUTD family since his polytechnic days. He came to know of SUTD through his participation in what we call the IDC Robocon in 2010. That means we just started the university. So Hagen was with us even before many of the first batch of students joined us. Now subsequently, Hagen joined SUTD as a campus builder where he helped to develop courses for an engineering product development module. After medical 
after matriculating in 2016, he became our student ambassador, such as <coughs> helping us in multiple outreach activities to potential students with his electronic piano workshops. Hagen, together with Ashwin, were instrumental in developing the new version we call the SUTD ring, as well as mass producing it for distribution to staff and students. Hagen will soon be pursuing his master degree in energy science and technology at ETH Zurich. And he will be the valedictorian speaker after, the, after, after I was speaking, uh, after the last, last event. Now, Ash, Ashwin himself is also, <laughs> is also heavily involved in the maker culture you need to SUTD. Besides the SUTD ring project, Ashwin called another team to design and create a wristband. It is a hand freeze passive RFID device for door access and island-wide transit payment system. He was the recipient of the Best Design Award at the Autonomous Area Vehicle Challenge in Thailand and the Best Presentation Award at the Singapore Amazing Flying Machine Competition. Ashwin will be joining Roach & Swartz as a hardware developer after graduation. Now today, we also have an interesting <laughs> father and daughter <laughs> graduating together at SUTD. Anthony Yeo and his daughter, Shireen. Now Anthony, coincidentally, is a researcher at the ST Engineering and SUTD, we call the COP Lab, on, uh, in cyber security. Now he graduated with a Master of Science in Security by Design, we call MSSD, while Shailene is receiving her Master of Architecture today. I think she's in the audience. She was originally from SUTD class of 2016, when she graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Architecture and Sustainable Design pillar. Then she went to work for two years before she returned to the campus and to complete her Master of Architecture. In fact, she was the one who encouraged her father to take up the MSSD as she knew that he had an interest in cybersecurity. The MSSD further spurred Anthony in taking up the Certified Ethical Hacker Certification and the Certified Information System Security Professional courses. Both Anthony and Shalene embody the spirit of continuous learning for life, a spirit that I hope all of you will also adopt even as you enter into your next chapter of life. This year, SUTD celebrates her 10th anniversary. We have come a long way in the past decade from practically nothing to a student population of more than 2,000 to a sub of more than 1,000. And from a small office in Gimor to this 20 hectare modern campus in Changi. We would not have been done, we would not have done this without the support of many people. Our board of trustees who are here today, donors, parents, and students. In these 10 years, SUTD has topped the list of emerging undergraduate engineering school in the world. Very few can have the opportunity to create an institution new from scratch and to see the fruits born out of seemingly far-fetched vision. But this is just the beginning of our journey to an era of a new world. A world that we have, we have other that has witnessed the faster rate of change in human history in the last 10 years. Digital transformation has rapidly ushered the world into the fourth industrial revolution. It is a revolution more comprehensive and all-encompassing than anything we have ever seen before. 
in a mere decade, companies like Amazon and Alibaba have totally changed the way we shop. Uber and Grab have completely transformed the way we get around. Apple and Google have revolutionized the way we communicate and self-driving car have finally arrived. But not all changes are always better. Products like BlackBerry, I don't know how many of you know BlackBerry, and Kodak Fem have disappeared from the market. Waste and pollution have massively damaged our environment and climate change is becoming a grim reality. Now, it is a fast-changing world, becoming more complex, more uncertain. And this is the world, this is the kind of world, the kind of world in which you are, able, you are about to start a new chapter and forge your path in life. It would not be easy. Your path will not be a straight line, but zigzag journey with many twists and curves. You will experience uncertainties and new challenges at every turn along the way. And to be successful and truly make the most of your potential, you simply cannot rely on the knowledge you already have. Never believe that your ability is fixed, but that you have in you the strength and passion to reinvent yourself. Be adaptive, open-minded and humble. Make lifelong learning and personal growth a part of your daily routine. Be bold to take the first step. Do not be afraid to try new things and, then never, and never, never give up despite setback. And stay connected with your friends who can support you during your difficult moments. If you do all these things, then you will surely be greeted with new possibility and new opportunities at every turn of your long journey ahead. A journey that is of great meaning and purpose for you. A journey to reach for the stars, to build a better world for this and future generation. So to the class of 2019, it has been such a privilege working with you to lay the foundation and shape the value and culture of SUTD in her formative years. We are truly proud, humble by your accomplishment and very proud of each and every one of you. A big thank you and heartiest of congratulations on this day of your graduations. All the best. Thank you.